We're back with a health inspector finding a roach in the pork at a South Florida restaurant. And while the state did not think it met the standard for a closure, we thought you needed to know. Here's Local 10 News investigator Jeff Wines here with tonight's Dirty Dining Report. Wanted to talk to you about your recent inspection. I have no comments. I'm sorry, I'm no, you right have right. no comment about a roach being in the raw pork? The place Amazing Asian Bistro, the address 10101 Cleary Boulevard. It's in the Plantation Promenade. Last week, an inspector was here based on a consumer complaint, found 19 violations, ordered a stop sale on several food items, but specifically the pork on the cook line because... There was a dead roach in it. The, problem already, the question the is, the question is, would that pork have been served to the public? No, we didn't see it. I know you didn't see it. This is what can happen when you don't see it. This picture was sent to us by a viewer who picked up from another restaurant last week. An inspector is still trying to confirm these allegations, but you can see what can happen. Back at Amazing Asian, they are adamant their roach would not have been served up to you. How do you know that? I, listen, I have no comment, okay? So, well, no, it's pretty serious. No, 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 no. Not only was there a roach in the pork, but there was a live roach spotted on the dish machine. There was mold in the ice machine, which was a repeat violation. A stop sale also ordered on cooked chicken and shrimp and raw beef. They were being held at an unsafe temperature. No comment, please, okay? We moved to Lincoln Road where an inspector was at Taverna last week based on a consumer complaint as well and ordered this place shut. Valerie is the manager. There were roaches in several places, so I guess my question is why? Um, I don't want to do this right now. I'm so sorry. Taverna located at 719 Lincoln Road. The inspector noted 25 plus live roaches in several spots in the kitchen and in a hallway. They were seen at the top rack of a dish machine and under kitchen prep coolers near the cook line. They were cited for holes in the wall and hand washing issues as well. What if the inspector didn't come because it was based on a complaint? Yeah, yeah, I know. It's basically by like by mistake, but just it was just a mistake. There is a lot of places that they're old, you know, that, that kind of things can't happen. We pulled the most recent inspections from seven other places on Lincoln Road, and there were no roach issues. Uh, we clean the kitchen every night. Um, so if you clean the kitchen every night, every night nobody yeah. sees this stuff, all this stuff? Yeah, I mean, just mistakes, you know what I mean? Can we come see it? Um, not right now. All those places we just mentioned were allowed to reopen following an ordered cleanup and then a reinspection. Jeff Weinseer, Local 10 News. And for a list of all the places that made the Dirty Dining list, just scan that QR code on your screen. It'll take you to the Dirty Dining section on our website, local10.com.